This is actually a patient of oh, mine really? that we implanted a cyst in it. So this is Blair Ford, my neurologist I work with, talking in the background. This patient has essential tremor. It's a disorder of the cerebellum where you can see he cannot control his movement, particularly when he tries an action. Oops. This Ooh. becomes incredibly okay. disabling. He can't drink from a cup. He can't write. Yeah, so there's his deep brain stimulator being turned on. Yeah. He says, oh, boy, because he gets a quick sen there. sensory jolt when it happens. Can you take this finger, touch my finger, and then touch your nose? Yeah. Go back and forth a few times. And so you can see this is really life-changing in the treatment the right for patients finger? with essential tremor, Parkinson's disease, things like this. Do you think but also this patient is interesting to note. This system was implanted right. a decade ago. So what we're doing now technically is very similar to what Much we were doing there. a decade ago. And what we're going to yeah. really focus on this morning is where do we go from here? here? How, do we, how do we advance from here? Still a little. And if we could now show the, the next video just talking a little bit about what deep brain stimulation actually is, and then we can use that as a lead in to talk about deep brain stimulation as opposed to neuroprosthetics, which is really our focus this morning. So Sri, maybe you could. Sure. Yeah, so what you see here is this is an invasive implant. You go through a surgery, you get leads, electrodes mm -hmm. implanted into a target region of your brain. You see something that looks like a pacemaker. It's called a neurostimulator. There's a voltage-controlled current source sends current through those leads that are sitting under the skin so you can't see it, and it activates a volume of tissue in the vicinity of the tip of the electrode. So the idea of deep brain stimulation is, you know, the, the brain basically communicates through electrical activity. It's the neural patterns, the electrical patterns in the brain that govern our behaviors. So when you're changing the electrical patterns with deep brain stimulation, the hope is you change behavior for the better. So if somebody has disease like a movement disorder like Parkinson's, which resting tremor, rigidity, bradykinesia, the idea is to activate the right part of the brain at the right time with the right signal to suppress those symptoms. So that's sort of the principle behind the therapy.